If you're a clothing reseller, you know what this is. Permanent marker on the bottom of shoes from the thrift store. I think you can tell from this shoe pile, I really like finding shoes at the thrift store to sell online, but I don't really like cleaning them. Without fail, my stores love writing the prices on the bottom of shoes. Makes it very complicated when I go to take pictures to sell them on Poshmark and Macari. I want to find the fastest and cheapest way to get these marks off of the shoes so I can sell them for a profit online. And if you've never tried this, you are seriously missing out. I made $75 profit from this one sale of Tory Burch sandals, $65 profit from this pair of Rothy's, and $40 $40 profit from this pair of Bagley Mishka pumps. Side note, if you're worried about people going without shoes, know that there is an overabundance of shoes in the thrift store. Most people do not want to touch these. They get really grossed out by them. So it's my job to clean them up, save them from the landfill, and give people great prices in the process while taking a small cut as my fee of finding, cleaning, and shipping them to you. Everyone has different theories about the best way to remove permanent marker from the bottom of shoes. And today we're gonna find the most effective but cheapest way to clean these shoes up. This all brings me to this magical place, Dollar Tree. The first thing that caught my eye is this sanding sponge. In the basket it goes. If you don't know how I'm going to use this, just keep watching the video and I'll show you later. It's a great last resort for cleaning the marker off the bottom of shoes. I was happy to see my Dollar Tree sells my tried and true tool, Mr. Clean Magic Eraser. They're also selling a generic brand with two for the price of one. So I bought that too to test them to see if they work just as well and could save you money. And here's something I've never tried, but people claim works really well to get marker off of shoes, dryer sheets. I picked up this pack because we're gonna test that out. And another crazy tool I've never tried, a dry erase marker. Apparently people say you're supposed to be able to write over the Sharpie, then wipe it off and everything comes off, including the Sharpie underneath it. I'm not sure if I believe that, but for a dollar, I'll give it a try. And here's another find, 100% acetone nail polish remover for just $1. So the first thing I want to start out with is the dryer sheet. Never tried this one, so uh, let's see if it's true or if it is a myth. <laughs> I feel stupid. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening. I'm going to try adding a little bit of nail polish remover to this to maybe give it a little lubrication. So nail polish remover and a dryer sheet. I think honestly that it is the nail polish remover doing what the nail polish remover would have done anyways. And this dryer sheet, I don't really know if it's necessary. Um, let's try it with just the nail polish remover. This is definitely working the best so far. But as I feared, I think that some of the marker has actually gone underneath the surface of the rubber and I don't know that it's gonna come off. And here's a comparison to see the difference. I mean, that definitely did good work. I don't know if it's gonna get much better than this with just Mr. Clean or a surface cleaning. So here's my secret little tip that I don't really hear people talking about as much because it does damage the shoe a little bit, but I'd rather have a little bit of wear than a marker. So. What I'm doing is taking this sanding sponge. I would say this is only for the most desperate of situations is where I bring out a sanding sponge. And yes, sanding away at the top layer is going to slightly damage the shoes. It just kind of looks like wear. In my case, I would rather have that than numbers on the bottom of a shoe. I think this is as good as we're gonna get. So yeah, you can see a mark there. I'm sure you can tell, but to me, it's just a lot better than this. I mean, this is gonna look a lot better in pictures. It just looks like there's a little bit of wear there, whereas this says, hello, I went to Goodwill and I bought something and I 
hope that I can sell it to you for more than that. And I'm gonna try one more thing that I heard online that works for some people. They say if you use a dry erase marker and a dryer sheet, that this might get it off. I am skeptical to say the least, but let's uh, let's give it a go. Well, I'm just gonna write over the Sharpie with this dry erase marker. I do not wanna make my life worse, so this better work. This appears to be only making the problem worse. <laughs> Who came up with this? Comment down below if this dry erase marker thing has actually worked for you or if it's just something people say. I'm gonna try it on this one because this will 100% come off with the right tools. So here we go. I mean, I guess at least it matches the shoe if it doesn't work. Okay. The dry erase marker has redeemed itself. It does appear to be working on this plastic shoe with a dryer sheet. So if you have a shoe like this, like maybe it's a sandal bottom, dry erase marker, scrubbing at it, and yes, in this situation, it's coming off. Let's see what we can do with a shoe cleaning eraser. Here we go, got a little bit of water. This is doing a pretty decent job. It's still like just barely there. Let's see if I use the Mr. Clean. This works for me. You can't see an actual number. I'm gonna actually clean the entire bottom of this so it's not just like that. But this kind of shows you too how you can clean the bottom of a shoe and make it look brand new with like these sponge things. So this is not just for the Sharpie effect, but I'm pretty happy with that. I feel like I can't really, you can kind of see it in the light here, but I can't really see what it says. So this is good enough for me. Let's try um, putting some nail polish remover on one of these Mr. Clean sponges. Okay. Definitely working a lot better. Huh. Oh, you you heard it here first. Apparently, uh, Mr. Clean and Dollar Store nail polish eraser can actually eat the bottom of your shoes. And hey, if all you want to do is get that price off, I guess it works. Thank you guys for hanging out with me and trying out all of these different methods to get Sharpie off of the bottom of tons of different shoes that you wanna sell on Poshmark and Macari. Because the deal is people go shopping for shoes online, they buy them, they don't fit, or they realize they don't fit later, and then they just give them to the thrift store even though they've probably only worn them a couple of times. And the materials and something like this is not going to break down easily at all. A lot of it has like a synthetic sole, that kind of thing. So being able to save those from the landfill is incredible incredibly important to me. And uh, this is a dirty job. This is a disgusting job sitting here with a bunch of stranger shoes, but somebody's got to do it. So I appreciate all of the resellers in the world that are also out doing stuff like this. And if you want to know how much money I actually make selling shoes, I've got an entire video about that and also how to figure out what shoes are selling on the apps, like what to actually buy in the stores. So if you want to see that, I'm going to put the video right here. Please give it a watch. It's a good one. Thank you guys so much. I hope you have a good rest of the day. Thanks for being with me.